Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Parr and on this episode of Math Up to Parr, we are going to be using a strategy for long division that is similar to the traditional method, but instead it is organizing those numbers into boxes. So we're going to call this the box method for long division. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So our first problem is 73 divided by 2. So what I'm going to do is I am going to draw a box like this. And I'm going to split it down the middle, making two columns. I'm going to take the number 73, and I'm going to break it apart by its digits. I'm going to put the tens digit over here and the ones digit over here. Notice how I wrote them at the top inside the box because I'm going to be writing something else above it and I'm going to be writing other things inside of it. So I want to make sure I leave space below it, but I also do not write it on top. This is my um, dividend. My divisor is 2. That's what I'm dividing by and that goes on the outside. Okay, so this is how I would set up 73 divided by 2. So I am going to break this down one digit at a time. So instead of looking and say, taking 73 and drawing 73 lines and splitting them into two groups, I'm going to break it up and I'm going to go one digit at a time. Typically with um, addition and subtraction and multiplication, you start with your ones place first and you move over and get bigger. Well, with division, with this strategy, we're starting with our greatest place value first and moving our way over to the ones place. So we're going to start with the tens place. We're going to ignore the three for now, but we're going to come back to it later. So we're going to take seven and we're going to say seven divided by two. That means I'm going to skip count by twos until I get to seven. I need to get as close as I can, but I can't go over. If you watch the Price is Right, it's Price is Right rules, okay? So you go as close as you can to seven, but you can't go over. So let's count. Two, four, six, eight. Uh-oh, eight's too big, so I'm going to go back to six. Two times three is six. That means two goes into seven three times. Three times two is six, because when I counted by twos, I got to six. That's as close as I could get to seven without going over. So I'm going to write my six underneath, and then I'm going to subtract seven minus six equals one. Over here, I'm going to show you if you were doing the traditional method, you would have done the same thing. You would have said two goes into seven three times. Three times two is six you subtract and you get one. So, so far this is the same as this. It's just organized a little bit differently. Your next step when you're doing the traditional method is to bring down your three right here, okay? So instead of doing that, we are going to take this one and we're gonna bring it over. This one is gonna travel to the next box. So this is gonna become 13 which is the exact same thing you would get if you were doing the traditional method. But instead of bringing it down and then going into this and coming around, we're just saying, okay, now my one goes into 13. So I did one box divided by two. Now I'm doing my second box divided by two. So I'm saying 13 divided by two. How close can I get without going over? So let's get count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, uh-oh, too big. So I go back to 12, which is six, right? So two goes into 13 six times without going over. Six times two is 12 because that's what I stopped counting at. So I'm gonna subtract 13 minus 12 and I'm going to get one, okay? If you had done it over here, you would have said two goes into 13 six times. Six times two is 12. I subtract and I get one, okay? And so your answer is, oh, 
hold on. If you're doing uh, the box one, this one, you know how this one traveled over in this box? Well, this one is going to travel out of the box, okay? And this one is going to be my remainder, what's left over at the end, okay? So either way you look at it, you get 36 remainder one. So I'm still using the traditional algorithm to solve my long division problems, but I'm using boxes to organize it to help me concentrate. Okay, I'm looking at this box right now and I'm looking at this box right now. And it helps me think through it and it helps me to stay a little more organized. I don't know about you. So now we have a three digit number. So now my box is going to be separated into three sections, okay? I'm going to break apart my number, 848 divided by 5, okay? So remember, I'm looking at one box at a time. So I'm starting with 8 divided by 5. How many times does 5 go into 8 without going over? So I'm going to skip count by 5s. 5, 10, uh-oh, too big already. 5 only goes into 8 one time. So I'm going to put 1 right here. Then I'm going to multiply because I was counting and I stopped at 5. 1 times 5 is 5. So I'm going to put my 5 underneath here. You remember what we do next? I need to see how much I have left over. When I'm dividing 8 divided by 5, it goes into it one time. But how much is the remainder? How much is left over when I do that? 3 is left over. Well, in order to figure out how much is left over, I need to then take that number and I need to carry it over. I'm gonna bring it over. It's gonna take a trip. It's gonna travel over here. And this four is going to become 34. So now I'm going to take this and I'm gonna say, okay, now I'm concentrating on this box. I finished with this box. Once I've carried it over, I'm gonna concentrate here. So now I have 34 divided by five. So I need to see how many times does 5 go into 34 without going over. Let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Oh, too big. So even though 35 is closer to 34 than 30 is, because 35 goes over it, we can't use it because it can't go in that many times. Okay? So we stop at 6 times and six times five six times five is 30. so then i need to see how much is left over okay five went into 34 six times but it had some left over it had four left over anyone remember what this four is going to do it's going to take a trip and it's going to go over here and it's going to become 48 okay let's see Five goes into 48, how many times? What do I do? I skip count by fives. I get as close as I can to 48 without going over. So let's try. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 50 is too big, so I stop at nine. Five went into 48 nine times. Nine times five is 45. So I'm going to subtract and I get three. That three is what's left over. What's left over is your remainder. So your final answer are these digits at the top. This is the hundreds place, this is the tens place, this is the ones place because that's what places these were. So your final answer to 848 divided by five is equal to 169 remainder three. Okay, let's do another one. So I'm gonna have another three digit problem. I'm gonna divide my box into three columns. I'm gonna put 194 divided by three, okay? And so when I look at my first box, something's a little funny because I know I'm supposed to do one divided by three, but one is a smaller number than three, okay? So when that happens, when this first digit is smaller than this digit, one divided by three is zero. Three goes into one zero times, because when you're skip counting by three, you start at three, 
which means it's already bigger than one. It's already too big. So you go back down to zero, okay? So three goes into one zero times. Zero times three is zero. One minus zero is one. That one is going to take a trip, so it's going to become 19, which as you can see is the same as one and then nine if you were to combine these together. But we use that zero as a placeholder. Um, so there's more than one strategy to go about this. I like to put the zero, multiply it by my divisor, and subtract it and move it over. It just helps me keep it straight. But you do what works best for you as long as you're getting it right. So now I have 19 divided by 3. I'm going to count by 3s and get as close as I can to 19 without going over. So let's try. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. That's 6. So 3 goes into 19 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18 because that's the number we stopped counting at. 19 minus 18 is 1, okay? My 1 is going to take a trip right here. And so now I have 3 going into 14. How many times can I go in? Let's count. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Too big. Got to stop at 12. Even though 15 is closer to 14 than 12 because it's too big, it can't go in that many times. There's not enough. So 3 goes into 14 four times. 4 times 3 is 12. That's what we stopped counting at. So 14 minus 12 is 2. My 2 is going to take a trip. And now I'm going to get 64. My 2 came out, which means that's my remainder of 2. So my answer to 194 divided by 3 is 64 remainder 2. I didn't write the zero in the front because that's just a placeholder. You don't need that with your final answer, okay? All right, guys. Thanks so much for listening. Happy practicing.